If we have a sinusoidal signal with fundamental frequency of 500 Hz and sampled with a sampling rate of 6000 samples per second, since the sampling rate is higher than the Nyquist rate, which is two times the fundamental frequency, we can reconstruct the baseband signal perfectly from its samples. If we increase the signal frequency, the reconstructed signal frequency increases as well. The limit is when the fundamental frequency is equal to half of the sampling frequency. After that point, the sampling rate is less than the Nyquist rate, which leads to aliasing, meaning the fundamental frequency of the reconstructed signal is different from that of the original one. Under that condition, perfect reconstruction of the baseband signal is not possible from its samples. So frequency aliasing is a phenomenon related to discrete time signals. There is a maximum frequency determined by the sampling rate before which the signal can be perfectly reconstructed. After that frequency, any increase in the original signal results in a reconstructed signal with lower frequency. All the frequencies outside this interval has their own aliases inside that interval.